On the 17th of February 2007, Michael Van Gerwen became the youngest player ever to hit a televised 9 data at just 17 years and 298 days old when he hit one in the Masters of Darts against Raymond Van Barneveld. Michael's next televised 9 data came over 5 years later when he hit one at the 2012 World Match Play against Steve Beaton. This perfect leg was hit in the second biggest tournament of the year and televised on Sky Sports, who hold the broadcast rights to most of the PDC's top events in the UK. MVG didn't have to wait long for his third televised nine, as five months later, he struck one in his World Championship semi-final against James Wade. This was also shown on Sky Sports, and is particularly notable for what followed it. Another eight perfect darts before the Dutchman Y-12 for the unthinkable, back-to-back -back nines a feat that even Phil Taylor never achieved. Those eight darts were an unsuccessful nine darter attempt on their own, but Michael surely wasn't too annoyed as he had just struck as near to perfection as we've ever seen and it was all live on Sky Sports. Surely it wouldn't be long before Van Gogh hit another nine darter on Sky, right? I mean, they televised many majors as well as the entire Premier League. Michael's next PDC 9 data that was caught on camera came less than a year later at the now defunct Championship League event, a tournament similar to the Moda Super Series. This was hit against Terry Jenkins in a game streamed on PDC TV rather than on Sky or ITV. MVG hit another non-televised 9 against Phil Taylor at the third place Championship event of 2014 before hitting his first televised 9 in nearly two years at the European Championship. It came in a game against Raymond Van Barneveld, the man he hit his first televised nine against nearly eight years earlier. This nine data was televised, but where? On ITV. 2015 saw Michael get a dart at double for a Sky Sports nine data for the first time since his agonizing near 18 perfect darts. It came in the second leg of a Premier League game against Raymond Van Barneveld in Dublin where he missed inside of the double 12. A few months later, Michael hit another non-televised nine against Raymond in a Players' Championship crazily in Dublin. In 2015's Grand Slam, he had another attempt to hit a nine on Sky Sports when he left 1-4-4 after six in a game against Steve West. He hit the two treble twenties before missing the double 12 by a mile. However, it wasn't long before Michael hit another televised nine as just a few months later, he hit one in the UK Open against Rob Cross. However, this was still not on Sky Sports. MVG had the chance to put this right during the Premier League, where he had yet another nine attempt against Raymond Van Barneveld. However, he missed outside of the double 12. During this year, the Dutchman hit three nines in non-televised PC events. He had the chance to start 2017 on the right note when he faced Barney on New Year's Day. This was shown on Sky Sports, but yet again against RVB, MVG missed the 9 on the outside of the 24. In the rest of that year, Michael hit 3 non-televised 9s, 2 in 1 game and all 3 against Scotsman. However, none of these were on Sky, meaning that 5 years had passed since Michael hit a 9 data on Sky. In this time, he missed five attempts at getting one and hit two on ITV, as well as many off of TV. But it wasn't long before MVG brought an end to the curse, no, not that curse, the curse of Ross Smith. This curse saw no nine data hit on the Eurotour for five years after six were hit in the first two years. Ross Smith hit one in Gibraltar in 2013 and then Michael hit one to break the curse in the summer of 2018 during a tournament which again was not on Sky Sports. He hit two nines in floor events that year. In February 2019, Van Gogh hit another two floor nine darters within the space of a week. In the following month, he hit another one on the Euro Tour, which he finished with treble 19, full tops. Again, that wasn't on TV, but he did manage to hit one on TV later in the year against Adrian Lewis at the UK Open on ITV. A few months later, he faced Peter Wright in the 2020 World Championship Final on Sky Sports. In the 10th set, he went 180-180 before missing inside of the Dole 12 from 1-4-1. He hit another floor 9 two months later 
And then, less than a month after that, yet another televised one at Butlin's Minehead against Daryl Gurney in the UK Open, again on ITV. At the 2021 World Grand Prix, Michael had the chance to end the Sky Curse and the fact that there hasn't been a 9 in that event since 2014. The Dutchman left 170 after 6 before wiring the ball for historic Big Fish, once again missing the 9 on Sky. He failed to end 9 data in 2021, but got the chance to hit one in the summer of 2020 in the final of the world match play. He left 144 after 6 on Sky, from which he wired double 12 on the inside, meaning that the curse went on. He did hit a televised 9 data that year against Rob Cross at the Players' Championship Finals shown on ITV. During the final days of the 2023 World Championship, the 10 year mark since Michael's last 9 data on Sky passed, but he had the chance to break it a few days after this in the World Final during the most famous leg of all time. We all know what happened there, Michael missed, the bully boy hit and the streak went on. But that's fine, he had a whole Premier League season to try and hit one on Sky to ensure that the 10 year wait didn't go on any longer. He got a chance at week 11 in Brighton against Gezi Price, but again missed on the inside of double 12. He hit one on TV recently at the World Series Finals, which again was on ITV, who couldn't even get the graphics right. Less than two weeks after this, he hit one at a Players' Championship event with a rare 150 out. Then came the World Grand Prix on Sky, where Michael narrowly missed the ball in 2021. He faced Chris Doby in round two and left 161 after six in the third leg. Michael missed the ball for this, meaning that the Sky streak went on. However, it looked like it wouldn't last much longer as two legs later, he left 170 after six before missing the ball by a fairly long way, crazily meaning they missed two nine dart chances in just three legs. So, the wait goes on. Of course, I assume it has nothing to do with Sky Sports. This is just an incredibly strange, curse-like streak, which I assume will come to an end soon, or will it? Thank you to Twitter or X user Dan the Stripe for uploading a great video that showed all 12 missed attempts that I've covered in this video. If you're still watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment letting me know when you think Van Gerwen will break this curse in the comment section down below.